All right, this question is for the honors class only, but I want to make sure I cover it. Um, so we want to know the difference between distance and displacement in terms of how we define them. So the way I would define these is distance is the total length of the path traveled. And displacement is simply... Um, x final minus x initial. It's just a straight line connecting starting and ending point. That's all. All right. Now it says calculate the ants displacement once it's gone a quarter way around the circle. So um, the displacement this is three meters, this is three meters. So um, what I would say is this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Um, so that displacement is gonna be three radical two. Now, if you wanted to be strict and get a direction, what you should technically write is the angle that it points at, which is 45 degrees. I guess we could get a little strict and say, no, technically it's 135 degrees, but I'm not going to worry about that right now, okay? Um, I'm just going to say that. Now, it says calculate the total difference it has, it has covered once it's kind of quarter way around the circle. So I need one-fourth of the circumference to get the distance. So that's going to be 2 pi times 3 divided by 4. So I would write this as 3 pi over 2 meters. Let's actually keep it that simple. Now here it says it takes um, pi seconds to go a quarter way around the circle, calculate the average velocity. Um, let's keep this simple. The average velocity is going to be 3 pi over, sorry, it's going to be my displacement divided by the time, and I'll keep that angle the same just to be clear. Um, you can simplify that, but I actually want to leave this um, in these terms to keep it easier. And then it says it takes pi seconds to a quarter way around the circle, calculate its average speed. Remember, because average velocity is displacement over time, and average speed is distance over time. So that's going to be a quarter of the circumference, which we got as 3 pi over 2 divided by pi and the pi's cancel, and so I'm getting three halves meters per second. All right, so that's question number, um, that's, that's uh, letter E, and that's question number four, complete.